Of course, everyone has heard of Audi. I don't think the company needs any introduction, but if it does, here are a couple of facts. The company was founded in 1909 in Germany, and yes, that is more than 100 years ago, and is still one of the most popular, most recognized car manufacturers in the world. They have been building cars since, and in 1980s, they introduced the Quattro to the European market, which meant permanent four-wheel drive system. It was revolutionary, and it became very popular very fast, as probably a lot of you already know. Now, four years later, Audi has started something new. It has launched in an era that no other car manufacturer dared to launch yet. The electric scooter market. And the manufacturer that Audi chose to partner with is Segway. What a nice symphony brought to the electric scooter world. As I have mentioned before, I love the electric scooters and what they stand for, so as soon as I found this electric scooter, I contacted Audi Denmark that were very responsive and hooked me up with this model just for this video. So what is it? Who is it for? Why does it exist and more details I will cover today. This is Raz with Scuderia. And today I'm going to talk about the Audi electric scooter, compare it to the Segway 9V Max and talk about performance. All of this and more right now. Of course, if you haven't already and would like to see more of this content, do hit that subscribe and ring button as I am posting fresh and new content weekly. So without further ado, let's get started. So, the 9 bot division from Segway were very successful with a lot of models that they have launched before this one. This and also the fact that the scooters were very appreciated by the customers who was the company of choice for Audi. Now, Audi is a huge car manufacturer contributing to history with a lot of great cars and promoting innovation along with racing pedigree. It is without a doubt one of the most interesting collaboration that we have seen so far. The scooter space is a 9Bot Max G30D, the best of the best from Segway, with an Audi color sheen that reflects the German car brand. The scooter comes on 10 inch wheels, it has a 350 watt motor developing a 20 kmh top speed. The maximum distance on a single charge, in ideal conditions of course, is 65 km. Let's talk about styling now. The 9Bot Max was a nice scooter to begin with, having a new paint job and a partner such as Audi to promote it only gave it class. Also, it gives an impression of limited edition, even though it's not, it looks kind of cool and different for sure. So, to get a better idea of the differences between the Audi electric scooter and a 9Bot Max, I use my G30 LP for this comparison. The pricing could be an interesting discussion as well, as the Audi scooter doesn't come cheap and you might pay more to own a 9Bot Max in collaboration with Audi than you would normally pay for a 9Bot Max. So, a standard G30D at the time of this review is around $825, while the same scooter in collaboration with Audi will set you back almost $1080. So, to own an Audi branded scooter, you would pay $255 more. Is it worth it? Well, it depends. I'm a fan of things being different, so not stock should trigger me in buying this Audi but I feel it is still room for improvement. Now that I think the scooter is not good, it is, but it still is a Segway 9Bot G30D underneath. It's very good, but still it is, well, basic. Audi hasn't invented the scooter, just rebranded an existing model, so to pay $255 more for this, 
I really would think twice. Anyway, now let's talk about the speed. The Audi electric scooter comes with the same motor as the G30LP, so should be able to do the same speed. But my G30LP is speed unlocked, while the Audi isn't. I can easy unlock it, as you can see, the application recognizes it and the region can also be changed immediately. But I'm not going to do it. You can check my unlock speed video of the 9Bot Max if you click the link above. The most important aspect of this scooter is its looks. It is a very handsome scooter and I took it out for a photo shoot, so here are the results. Now the question, why does it exist? Well, in my honest opinion, this is a very nice, very interesting collaboration that was nice to see it from a big car manufacturer such as Audi. It is possibly the beginning for other manufacturers to step into this world. Besides this, it is only normal that more and more brands will join this industry as it has evolved more in the past two years than it has ever before. The demand is growing and car manufacturers, as we can see, have listened to the consumers and now they have launched a scooter like this. These were my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and ride eco. Peace out.